Hello, everyone. I'm Eddie Turner. I'm the president-elect for the Association for Talent Development's Houston chapter. At ATD Houston, we are all about talent. And at this time, we would like to take a moment to really get to know one of our sponsors better. I have with us the president and CEO of Cognition, Barry Caton. Barry, thank you so much for being with me today. Oh, it's a pleasure, Eddie. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Barry, can you tell us a little bit about who Cognition is and what you all do? Sure, absolutely. Essentially, Cognition provides digital coaching to large companies. Now, what does that mean? It means that we help companies to scale up meaningful conversations. Essentially, in most organizations, you can provide face-to-face -face coaching at the top of the pyramid. But we've developed software that allows you to provide coaching throughout the organization. So to the, the layer below, the C-suite, managers, supervisors, and so on. And we all know that coaching is incredibly successful uh, at delivering results. But how do you do that at scale? We figured out a way to do that. Very interesting. Now, coaching is actually a part of the core competencies for ATD. We have our foundational competencies, but then we have nine other things that we think everyone in the talent space needs to really know about to be an effective talent management uh, professional, talent development professional. So uh, tell us, please, a little bit more about what your product does. What's your key differentiator that we should know about? Sure. Essentially, the differentiation is this. Let's compare instructor-led training to coaching. Mm -hmm. With instructor-led training, you might put 15 or 50 or 500 people in a room with a single speaker or facilitator. And obviously, we all know as, as learning and development professionals that as that ratio increases, the more people you have listening to one person, the less active the learning process is. If we compare that to coaching, which is one-to-one -one, uh, conversation, the conversation focuses on the individual circumstances. I'll give you an example. Let's okay. compare conflict management dealt with in instructor-led training versus coaching. In instructor-led training, we might bring in 50 people in a room. Today, we're gonna to be talking about conflict management. We're gonna cover these topics and so on. Now, what's happening there is it's a very information-centric approach. The facilitator needs to work through an agenda of topics and everybody needs to optimize the, the face time that they have in the room. Very little participation, unless you have an incredibly dynamic uh, facilitator, uh, and even if you do, you can inspire people in an instructor-led training session. That's what instructor-led training is really good at, inspiration. You can provide guidance. You might provide some participation through role play, but there's a limit. You can't really do follow-through very easily. Now, in coaching, because it's a one-to-one -one situation, the coach doesn't sit down and say, oh, today we're going to deal with conflict management. Here's what we're going to cover. It's all directed by the coachee. What's in the mind of the coachee? Mm -hmm. uh, what is she concerned about? Um, what is she anxious about? What does she want to achieve, her goals? So in our system, when we're looking at conflict management, the first question that our system asks of you is, who are you having a conflict with? Now, you wouldn't use that particular module unless you were having a conflict. So we know you're having a conflict because you've chosen to use it, and it's asking you, who are you having a conflict with? You say to the system, John. Um, and the system says, well, how would you describe your conflict with John? Now, that's all about you and your context, your personal knowledge that you're bringing to the conversation. So mm -hmm. I might say, uh, John is missing his deadlines. He's disrupting the team. He's costing us a fortune. And he's putting our most important client project in jeopardy. I've described that. Now, I did two things. I reflected on the situation, on my personal context, and I brought that to the conversation. And then I expressed what came to mind. Uh, you could hear that I was frustrated, that I was expressing emotions, I was expressing facts. Now, our system is not artificial intelligence. It doesn't analyze what I wrote in response to that question. It simply asks me the next coaching question. And the next coaching question is, how do you think John would describe the conflict? And it's such a simple question, and yet immature leaders mm -hmm. struggle to put themselves in the other person's shoes. And so our system takes them systematically through this process of empathizing, with the other person, but without lecturing. It's very much an, an active learning process as much as can be achieved online. And because we're able to do this uh, uh, process of, of encouraging reflection and self-expression online, 
we can do it at scale to f for 50,000, 100,000 individuals. And we've now done this with uh, leadership competencies. We've done this with continuous improvement, with strengths-based coaching, and a whole range of other frameworks that our clients ask us to adapt into conversational learning for meaningful conversations at scale. Very nice. Well, I know that the product is a very interesting product. I had a chance to see it uh, very recently. And then also you all uh, sponsor, were one of the sponsors for our technology conference. And so in addition to being a supporter for us throughout the year, in so many ways, you all have really assisted us in our mission uh, as a chapter. We really appreciate you. So appreciate the yearly support and being a sponsor of the tech technology conference where we, your product was showcased and we had some really cool photos that came out of that event as well. What a pleasure to get a chance to talk to you today, Barry. Thank you so much for all that you're doing for us. And we know that our members will be very interested in continuing to learn more and use your product. Well, thanks so much, Eddie. It's a real pleasure to support ATD. Take care now. Bye-bye.